Hi, Faith Finders. Welcome to Fun Friday. I'm Miss Robin, and I'm Director of Kids Ministry at Christ the Savior Lutheran Church in Fishers, Indiana. And yesterday, I was on a walk with my dog, Mackie, and as we were going on this walk, where we were was uh, bright and sunny and um, maybe some light, fluffy clouds in the air, but it seemed nice. But as I looked off to the side, I could see where there was a storm um, that was coming, that clouds were dark and we could hear the thunder rolling. And so I knew that um, it, it was definitely raining off in that direction and there was a storm. And so I immediately started looking for rainbows because whenever I see a storm like that and you can see where part of it is sunny and part of it is stormy and rainy, it's usually the best time to catch a rainbow. And as I was doing that, I thought about the storm chasers that um, either for a hobby or for their job, they actually look for storms to go into and they will um, drive to find them, whether they be tornadoes or maybe they fly to find them if they're hurricanes. And so they actually go to the storm, they seek the storm out, and then they'll drive into it, fly into it, and get information to bring back for the weather people or for us. And I was wondering, what would it be like if we had rainbow chasers? I don't think I'd want to be a storm chaser, but I'd love to be a rainbow chaser and just go around and just looking for rainbows because I love that rainbows are that reminder of God's promise to always be with us. Now we know that sometimes life feels kind of like a storm. It feels kind of thundery and sometimes lightningy and windy and, um, there's obstacles in our way. Like maybe right now, you're not gonna be going back to school in person, you're gonna be doing virtual school. Or maybe you're not gonna be able to play uh, your sport or do your extracurricular activity, it's gonna get canceled. Or maybe you're not gonna get what you want for dinner tonight. Sometimes they're big things and sometimes they're little things. But we all have those times when we're going through a storm. Even characters in the Bible have gone through storms. Noah and um, Jacob went through hard times and so did Paul. But through it all, they're reminded time and time again that God is with them and that God will be with them always, no matter what. The Bible says about rainbows, when I see a rainbow in the clouds, I will remember the eternal covenant promise between God and every living creature on earth. Genesis 9, 16. I love that verse. I wanna be a rainbow chaser. I wanna find in the midst of the storm where God is. I wanna focus on the rainbows instead of focusing on the storm. So friends, I have a fun activity for you today and it is making your own storm bottle. Are you ready? All right, so here we go. And I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this on the camera, but I'm sure gonna try. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need um, some um, white-ish shampoo or hand soap, um, but it needs to be white in color, whitish, not, uh, you don't want it to be clear or it won't work as well. And then just some regular water. And then you're, if you've got some glitter or other things that you wanna add in there, you can. And you'll probably need a grown up to help you with this to create your storm. But you're gonna put about a third, fill a third of the bottle with that shampoo or, or um, hand soap. And then the rest of it, you're gonna fill with water. And you can add some food coloring. Um, you'll wanna do that for sure. That helps you see the storm better. And I think adding some glitter is fun. Uh, or you can put some other things in there. But that, the glitter reminds me, because it's sparkly and shiny, that in my storm bottle, that there's going to be a rainbow. So then what you do after you've got that all together is you can shake it all up, shake it up really good, and then you can watch the storm in the bottle and then look for the, look for the rainbows, look for the, the sparkles, and it'll remind you that God is with you no matter what, friends. Have a blessed day.